What's going on? It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. My name's Chad. This is Worship Leader Hangout. And today I'm going to show you how to properly add songs to Planning Center. Now some of you are probably thinking, if you've been here a little while, you're probably thinking, I've already seen you add songs to Planning Center and you showed me, you know, how to connect this and that. And, uh, and that's great. But today I'm going to show you how to do this on a cell phone. Now what got me thinking about this is that we just added about 20 to 30 songs. Well, I think it was like 32 songs uh, to our repertoire list. We took away a lot of songs. We took away probably almost 150 songs off of our, our list and if you want to see how we choose and implement new songs uh, to our worship team, uh, go check out a video. I'll link it below. Um, so, but now comes the point, now I gotta, I gotta add resources uh, for our people to learn those songs and uh, sometimes we need help with this. So, a lot of our people that, um, that help with Planning Center uh, use the cell phone a lot and I want to make sure when we add songs we're adding uh, chord charts we're adding the uh, YouTube links Spotify um, maybe even Amazon or iTunes links uh, for Apple music that kind of thing so I want to share this with you as well so that way we all make sure that we uh, get the most out of the tool that we have that is planning center which is pretty much dominating anything to do with church management right now so uh, at least in my opinion anyway but today's Wednesday and our youth worship leader is definitely going to be helping us with this. His name's Jordan. I think he's over in the annex right now, which is our youth room. So let's go over there and see if we can just drag him in this video so I can show him, kind of knock that out, do this video at the same time. Anyway, let's go. This is Jordan. <laughs> Say what's up, Jordan. <laughs> All right, so uh, come on, slide this way just a little, um, little further. Now. Okay. So uh, Jordan adds songs all the time for youth, or not all the time, but adds songs uh, for the youth worship team and things like that. And so I like to just get with him and make sure that we are on the same page because we might do those songs on a Sunday morning, uh, those kinds of things. And I want to make sure that we have all the resources already there. We don't have to be doing things over and over again. Come this way a little bit. There we go. So we don't have to be redoing things and you know adding stuff later. We can it's already ready. We can all be on the same page. So I'm going to show you how to do this right here on your phone. Um, now what you do, Jordan and everybody, is uh, go ahead and go to Planning Center. You're going to click on. Uh, so sometimes it'll pull up this page where your name and all that, all the, your schedule, all that kind of stuff is. Click on that music note, which is it'll bring you to your song repertoire list. All right, so now once you're there, plus, press the plus button, and then we're gonna add holy ground. Um, that's by passion. Um, so just start typing holy ground. Um, I like to make sure uh, everything's uh, capitalized correctly. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even type. G-R-O-U-N-D is how you spell ground, by the way. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what's cool about this um, is it gives you all the holy grounds available on uh, Planning Center or on uh, like uh, CCLI on Song Select okay. is what is already connected to Planning Center to be able to pull all this up automatically. Hmm. However, if you don't know the information about the song, you won't know which one to pick. If I were to ask you right now which one to pick, which one are you gonna pick? Uh, I'm not sure. Now, of course, we know Holy Ground by Passion is a newer song, so we're gonna look for a seven, because right now we're on the seven, zero, something, 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 something. Mm, so, so I'm gonna look at the sevens. I see two of them. Well, first off, I see Holy Ground, uh, Brett, uh, Brett Yunker, and then the next one down is Holy Ground, Amanda Cook, Jeremy Riddle, uh, Rand Jackson. Now, who is that? That is Bethel. That's Bethel. So I know for sure it's not that one because it's not a Bethel song. But then, gotcha. but, but in case you don't know those names, don't know those people, go ahead and click over to Spotify. Um, I think you have this on Apple Music too. But click over to Spotify. I already pulled up the song. It's the one, the actual song that I want. Um, so I'm gonna click on this little dot 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 button on Spotify. Scroll all the way down. Click on Song Credits. So now here's all of our information and we can just see the names right there. Um, it doesn't give us like a, a CCL, it doesn't give us that seven zero number, um, but it gives us the information we need to know to correctly identify which holy ground it is. Cause it's, it can be annoying selecting the wrong one, getting on there, 
what lyrics are these? What song is this? You know, um, which the other song is a great song too. Anyway, so go back over to services and click on the right one. All right, the important part, right? Um, we're gonna go to length. I know just because I looked at it on Planning Center, this song is five minutes and 30 seconds. It is not 120 beats per minute. I don't know why I put that in there, but it is 72 beats per minute, 72 or 73, I can't remember, but we're gonna say 72 for this video. Um, it is an E flat major, um, and the meter is 4-4. Four four. Um, I wanna download the chord chart and import the lyrics, and now this is from having a subscription to Song Select, so get you a subscription to Song Select, you have automatic chord charts and uh, lyric sheets and stuff like that. Now. <laughs> I like to make my own chord charts. Um, one thing we have here at our church is just the idea that we're just not gonna use music stands on Sunday, so we like to memorize things. So I just, I say, look, with listening to the song on YouTube, Spotify, whatever, um, as well as the chord sheet, chord sheet that is provided and uh, some tutorials that I provide, that's what we're really gonna go off of. I'm not gonna worry about having a perefect note for note or uh, bar for bar chord sheet because we're not even going to be looking at that anyway. We're right. going to be engaging in worship on right. Sunday morning. So anyway, um, so once you got that, of course, going down to, well, now you just click done. Uh, and, well, not done. You click next and type a song. What I like to do, I just I put in their chorus just to identify it somehow. Uh, speed, this one's slow. Really anything below 100 is slow, but sometimes you can put medium. But anyway, I just, I call this one slow. Uh, style, contemporary, some people call it modern, what, it doesn't matter. I just, I just want something to identify a type of song, a, you know, a speed, those kinds of things. All right, so hit save. Sometimes it brings you right back out to this screen here of all your songs, so just go back into it, because we're gonna add a few links, a few things that um, I want our team to be able to click on to listen to the song and uh, maybe add it to one of their uh, playlists or something on Spotify or YouTube. So um, go ahead and go to default arrangement. A default arrangement is what it automatically makes. You can rename this to, um, you know, maybe it's a certain artist or a certain worship team that does the song that you like. You can rename that and how you do that is just click edit, click on uh, the arrangement and you can uh, change it there and I'm gonna just discard those changes. Okay, because you click lyrics and chord charts, it has all that already and you can see the chord chart for that song. Now, I wanna add a YouTube link and I wanna add Spotify to this as well. Now some of you think, well, how do you do that? Well, it's very simple on here. Um, you click, now it doesn't look as simple. There should be one that says add link, but there's not, but for now, We'll just use what they have, and this is add file, and then it says add a link. So we're gonna click that, and now we just add the YouTube link there, and then we name what that YouTube link is. Um, so we're, let's start with Spotify. Let's go back out, and uh, I can just click here on the dot, 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 and click share, copy link, link copy to clipboard, yay. Now I can go over here. Now what's cool is the iPhone automatically puts that right there. I'm gonna change the name to Spotify and click upload. All right, and that uploaded that to that default arrangement. Okay, and uh, now I'm gonna add a YouTube link. All right, so now we're on YouTube. This is the song we want. I've checked it beforehand. All right, so now I'm just gonna share, copy link, boom, go back over here. It automatically puts it in there for me on the iPhone. I'm just gonna type in YouTube. Right there, upload that. Give it a good refresh. All right, so now on the song, when you click on it, um, on your phone, on the desktop, no matter where you are, um, you have these links and you can do all of this on your phone. Um, of course, you have all the other tools. You can add your keys. So say, uh, say I wanted to lead this song or just be ready to lead this song just in case one of our, our worship leaders weren't able to do that. You know, I just simply 
uh, click key and I know what key I want to do. Well, I don't actually know because I haven't done the, the research, but let's just say I'm going to do this one um, in C. So then I can just select C there, click download chord chart, press save. Um, what I can do is I can click on C and then add a description. Oops, can't spell. And I just said Chad's key. All right, so um, that's me, obviously. <laughs> so you can, uh, so whatever key you add, if you add it for a specific person or for a specific reason, you can label that so that way your team knows, okay, so when Chad leads that song and you put on Planning Center under the little notes section on the actual service plan, Chad's singing it. For some reason it doesn't say E, or it doesn't say C and it says E flat, you can pretty much assume, okay, maybe he meant E flat. We can change that. Mm -hmm. Or some, you know, I'm just kind of thinking through some possible scenarios. We can see what schedules these are on. I have that on our new song playlist 2019. If you want to know a little bit more about that, go watch how to find songs for your worship team. Um, and I, I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Or you can go watch our video called um, New Song Play, like how to add a new song playlist to Planning Center. I'll link that below as well. So anyway, Thank you so much for watching this. I hope this video has helped you uh, to learn how to add songs on your cell phone. Uh, no matter what iPhone you have, you know, it could be old, new, you can do this on your phone and not have to jump on a desktop just to add a song to Planning Center. You can do this right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Have a great day and remember great worship leaders are always learning, like this guy. That's right. It's always learning. Anyway, so we're gonna go get ready for Wednesday night worship. Um, I'm actually playing. I don't know if you knew that, by the way. I just now accepted that. Right. Um, just so it didn't look yellow <laughs> uh, when I showed you this tutorial. Anyway. It did do that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get ready.